哈喽，大家好，欢迎收看本期视频。今天给大家带来的是二十三岁广东宝藏女孩梁小静。虽然身高只有一米五七，但是跑的一点都不比黑人慢，光是启动爆发就可以超越世界第一汤普森。而且她几乎是赛场上最吸引观众眼球的选手。虽说在国内韦永利是现今唯一百米破十一秒的人，但是随着年纪大了，没有了之前的状态了。而梁小静虽说百米个人最好成绩是十一秒一三，但是其发展空间还是很大的，将来非常有机会突破十一秒大关。Britain are the competitor in this 60 meters, and then for all of the contenders, we'll just be having a little eye on each other in these heats. Nothing too scintillating in terms of times yet. Skippers get a reasonable start. The young Chinese athlete Liang away and running wild. Karina Horn's having to go to get back into this. Might have just got the third spot. Skippers came through for the win, 7:20. Liang after that very good start, rewarded with a qualifying spot. And Horn, I was watching her, had to really get moving in the last few meters to ensure her third spot. In fact, she got second in the end. There, Colin. 719, good performance from the young Chinese athlete. Very quick start. Very quick indeed. And watching it, Steve, I was wondering whether Daphne would have uh, tried to run a little bit quicker, that, a little bit sharper, that, but she looked very relaxed at the end. Really not the best of starts from her. Remember, the, the athletes around her are not the ones who can run 7-0. And you want to really be really showing your dominance on people who are going to run in their personal best around that 7-2 mark. But she switches down very early indeed. So to be rewarded at that time of 719 means that she's in decent shape. She's certainly got a meter of running left in her, which will take her into those seven zeros, which means she'll be very competitive later on. This is the 2019 Dongha Tianjin Shooting Meet, Women's 200m Relay. The winner is Chinese athlete Liang Xiaojin. Liang Xiaojin's speed and speed are very good. Although the speed is not going to be enough to catch up with the Asian athlete. The winner is Chinese athlete Liang Xiaojin. Liang Xiaojin's speed and speed are very good. Although the speed is not going to be enough to catch up with the Asian athlete. The winner is Chinese athlete Liang Xiaojin. Liang Xiaojin's speed and speed are very good. Although the speed is not going To go way back to Athens, where she was a finalist. 第六道的是埃及的选手。Two forty-five, not far off her personal best at all. Lalova Colio. 第五道的是英国的选手。Commonwealth Games and European medalist from five years ago. So strong, as I mentioned. 第四道的是印度的选手。第三道的是特立尼达和多巴哥共和国的选手，第二道的是瑞士的选手。But the University of Alabama, based in the United States, the Trinidad and Tobago athlete, and there is Cambungi, highest ranked athlete in this field, running on the inside. Remember, with no one in lane one, into the blocks for heat two. Cambungi in two, Prieto three, Susan Tran four, Williams five, Davida six. Malova Folio in seven, Buxia in eight, and Liang Zhaojing, the outside, lane nine. Huh? Two. Ming Xiang Sheng Xiangqi. Liang Xiaojing's reaction time is 0.146. Speed is very smooth. But in the middle of the straight line, the opponent is going to catch up. Despite that, Liang Xiaojing still managed to catch up to the third and final contender. 但前面几个跑得太快了，最后梁小静二十三秒二十七，小组第五，五人半决赛。Right to the pitches, looking strong at the moment as well. First three in each heat qualifies, so this is going to be close because the Lova Polio is in there as well. She may have just taken it on the line. Joni Williams up there and Cam Bungie. That was tight in 22.80. It is the first three who will qualify, and the Lova Polio did indeed hold them off to get the victory ahead of Williams. And Kambunji is going to look up at the scoreboard as well, and to see that she got third in 22.81 seconds. So those the three automatic qualifiers from the second heat. Yeah, that heat was very, very different to her first heat. Much more depth in it with Lalova Collio, Williams, and Kambunji. Three very experienced athletes who would know that they need to keep fighting the whole way to the line. You cannot take anything for granted in this first round. Lalova Polio, within a tenth of her best in her lifetime this year. You see her there, coming out of the block so well, gets her foot down really quickly and up into her running, which is really important. 
She's missed a couple of years right in the middle of her career through a horrific injury that she had and had to spend time building herself back up slowly to get back to this level. And now it's really paying off towards this part of her career. And you just see the three women here, Kambunji on that tight inside lane, Jody Williams and Lalova. I mean, a couple of hundredths between top three in this heat so early on. All three of them had to work hard through this. You see Lalova driving the arms the whole way home and just staying working right through the finish. Williams got a little bit tight through the shoulders, could feel that bit of pressure coming from right, coming from left. You don't want to know too much about what's going on around you, but it's hard not to feel it. And Kambunji, her last 30 meters held her. 14-year-old中国天才少女拿下世界中学生田径冠军。百米赛场狂飙十一秒五六，一举追平赛会的四十一年纪录。这个女孩就是宁波小飞人陈雨鞋。前段时间一百米跑出十一秒五七，成绩轰动体育总局的也是这个小姑娘。让她参加完短跑比赛，摄影机往往只能留下陈雨鞋一个人的身影，因为如果不是摄影师果决跟上，陈雨鞋甚至都要跑出镜头范围了。别看小姑娘2008年12月出生，现在才14岁，还在上初二，却是国家认定的女子100米、200米一级运动员。百米成绩半年内三破个人最好纪录，就连日本公认的第一天才三好美羽都被陈雨鞋远远甩开。甚至在大逆风的情况下，陈雨鞋在200米赛场狂飙出23秒61的超强成绩。这一成绩让陈雨鞋不需要参加选拔赛，直接可以参加世界中学生运动会女子200米的比赛。而在女子100米的选拔赛中，陈雨鞋直接狂飙出11秒 57， 毫无悬念成功入选。这是在巴黎里约热内卢举行的 U15 世界中学生运动会，来比赛的选手都是1 4到十五岁的选手。北京时间2023年8月22日星期二凌晨，女子100米预赛第三组，陈雨鞋位于第八道的位置，因为这才是第二届 U15 世界中学生运动会，所以场地看起来没有那么的好。但是来比赛的陈雨鞋无视这些，随着起跑开始，陈雨鞋就冲了出去。这个不平很快了，却还是陈雨鞋有所收敛的情况。Junto com a chinesa. 陈雨鞋第一个冲过了终点，小陈的预赛成绩是11秒76。不仅是小组第一，还是全预赛第一名，成功晋级决赛。再看一遍小陈预赛的表现，咱们就进入决赛。这场比赛的第二名成绩是12秒 43， 第三名的成绩是13秒48。小陈拿第一，所有人都服气了。让我们看到陈雨鞋在决赛中的表现吧。小陈骄傲地向全世界展示胸前的国旗，笑容灿烂的不得了。这场比赛，陈雨鞋因为预赛的成绩被分到了第五跑道的位置，来自全世界各地最厉害的八位田径天才即将展开激烈的百米大战。其中最为优秀的，除了咱们中国的陈雨鞋，还有位于第二跑道来自马耳他共和国的西亚欧。很快，比赛开始了。陈雨鞋起跑稍微落后了一点啊，但是只用了十米，陈雨鞋就把差距补上了。接下来的比赛简直是陈雨鞋的个人时刻，没有人能和他保持在一个身位。冲过了终点，陈雨鞋冲过了终点，拿下了世界中学生运动会的百米冠军。这一次，陈雨鞋的成绩是11秒56。他不仅再一次打破了自己在100米的个人记录，甚至追平了赛会41年记录，而且还是 U18 的记录。让我们看一下慢放啊！第二跑道的西亚欧，这个女孩的起跑是最快的，小陈在起跑能排在第五。不过在进入比赛后，小陈直接开启狂飙模式，一个个把前边四个人超过了，以第一名的成绩冲过了终点线。西亚欧紧跟其后，以12秒16的成绩拿下亚军。来自巴西的斯吕亚则是以12秒34的成绩拿下季军。这场比赛小朋友们可能不太适应，六道的墨西哥小姑娘从起跑后就严重左偏，差点跑到小陈的跑道上了。小陈没办法，只能也开始向左调整，然后直接加速甩开所有人。要不然很有可能会发生把手的事情，严重影响发挥。我觉得小陈太机智了，四肢发达，头脑还聪明。
，十分期待小陈在接下来的两百米，应该是在二十三号开跑。如果你喜欢的话，点赞、评论、关注都是最好的支持，这对我真的真的很重要。谢谢大家，咱们下期再见。